Part C gives an alternate model for t is less than 10, which satisfies the differential equation d of g over dt is equal to negative g minus 27 to the power 2 thirds. So what we need to do here is we've been given an initial condition, and we need to separate the variables and integrate this. So first thing is we're going to separate the variables. So dg, the g's are going to go with the dg. So I end up with dg over g minus 27 to the power 2 thirds. And that's going to be equal to negative dt. And separating the variables out here, this allows us to get the g's with the g's, and the t's with the t's. In this case, there is no t. But once we've done that, we then integrate both sides. So we find the antiderivative of this. So this is power negative 2 thirds. So we're going to end up with g minus 27. We're going to add 1 to get power 1 third, and then divide by 1 third, which gives us 3. That's going to be equal to negative t plus c. So we need to then solve for the plus c. And to do solve for the plus c, what we're going to do is use that initial condition here of t equals 0, the g of 0 equals 91. So plugging in that into their equation, we end up with 3. g was 91. minus 27, cube root that, is equal to negative, well, g, t is 0, plus c. Okay, so solving for plus c, we're going to end up with 3 times. This is going to be 91 minus 27. That's going to give us, uh, looks like, 64 the cube root, and that's going to be equal to our c value. The cube root of 64 is going to be 4, so we end up with 3 times 4 is equal to c, or in other words, c is equal to 12. So now we have our c, so we can rewrite this equation. We're going to solve for the g equation. So plugging this in, we're going to end up, first of all, 3, I'm going to write this in the cube root form, g minus 27 is equal to negative t plus the 12 that we solve for. And then solving for our g value, we're going to end up with g minus 27 is equal to negative t plus 12 over 3. And then we're going to cube both sides. So we're going to end up with cube like that. So our final equation, our g of t, is going to be equal to, I'm going to rewrite this as 12 minus t over 3 cubed plus 27. Okay, so we now have our g function. And then we're going to solve for g at t equals 3. We want to know the, the temperature at time equals 3. So we're going to plug 3 into that equation. So we're going to end up with 12 minus 3. All over 3 cubed plus 27. So 12 minus 3 is 9. Divided by 3 is 3. Cubed is 27 plus 27. So the temperature we get is 54 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that's our g of 3. If we take a look at our keys here, for differential equations, we want to separate and integrate both sides and then solve for c using the initial conditions. That's, that's a key for solving differential equations. If we look at the mark scheme, one mark is for the separation of variables, anti-differentiate, solving for c, and then rewriting the equation as a g of t form, 
and then solving for g of 3 gives us all 5 marks.